Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. Today's idea was uh, suggested by Steve Sogore. I'm sure I mispronounced that. Sorry about that, Steve. It says, Hi Weston, is there any way to look up a subset of numbers going back any number of rows that could be summed? Something like lookup variable sum 1 through 7. I'm trying to create a way to form a moving average by going back a week of seven calendar days. I knew the, know the moving average part would involve more calculations, but that's okay for now. Thank you in advance. Hope you all will still maintain this and can help. Hey, thanks Steve for the comment and thanks for watching. I think we may have already shown a video on creating a moving average, but I'll show you right here what we've got is we have sales and we've got a formula here. Let me just highlight this. And what this is doing is this is taking the window average, taking the sum of sales, because each of these month is the sum of sales. You can see that here. And so what we're doing is when you select on one of these, you'll see that you want the start. So this is going back six uh, columns, or in this case, because everything is month, it's going back six months to the present. All right, so that's how you would create a moving average. Now to take it to the next level, I'm gonna create a parameter. And we'll call this moving average length. I'm going to create an integer. We're going to make the current value 6. So that's when it opens it's always going to default to 6. Uh, let's make a, a list. We don't want to give them, allow them, maybe you do, allow them to put in whatever they want. So let's put in 1. And I'm going to change this to 1 month just so it's for readability. Go down. We'll do 3 call this three, oops, three months. All right. And we'll do six. And guess what? Six months. And then just to change it up, we'll do, oops, double click that. Now, if you do more than a year, you'll have to figure out, are you going to change back to 18 months? Maybe you want to just leave this as 12 months. Hit OK, and now we're going to show the parameter, right? So we've got the parameter right up there. Go back to the moving average, we're going to edit that. And now instead of minus 6, we're going to put in minus moving average length. You know, because it's a parameter, it's going to show up as purple. The other thing to be aware of is even though we selected a different time frame here, because the value, what Tableau recognizes is a number, will be, you can use that in calculations. And so you can look back here and this is going to go back one month moving average, 26, 18, 14, and that's right in the middle. So maybe that's actually, we'll have to go back and call that a, a two month moving average. You know, we're gonna leave it as one month because, all right, so this is what you're expecting because it's right on top of each other, good. You got to offset. Now, the reason I left it as one month, what if we got rid of the sales? And so now you just have a chart. We'd have to show the, the header. But now we have a chart. If you can say, you can even change this to current month instead of one month moving average. You just call it current month, three months. So just another way of looking at it. We 
the key is you can put the parameter here and it will go back however many uh, columns or data points that you've got listed. Hope that helps, Steve. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.